2023. January 3rd, Keenan Anderson. January 7th, Tyree Nichols. January 17th, Daryl Williams. February 3rd, Alonzo Bagley. February 22nd, Timothy McCree Johnson. February 24th, James Lanier. March 5th, Dexter Wade. March 6th, Ervo Otieno. March 18th, Delaneo Martin. April 11th, Jamar Thompson. June 6th, Calvin Keynes III. June 14th, Jarvion Hudspeth. July 2nd, Jawan Dallas. July 3rd, Jarrell Garris. July 3rd, Ahmad Abdullah. July 28th, Freddie Walker. July 31st, Ricky Cobb II. August 5th, Brandon Cole. August 10th, Johnny Holman. August 18th, Tommen Wilson. August 18th, Jaquan Fletcher. August 23rd, Kyrie Myers. August 24th, Takia Young and her unborn baby. September 1st, Daryl Vance. September 6th, Daw Patwi and Louis Moe. October 12th, Emmanuel Millard. October 16th, Leonard Cure. October 24th, Darcel Edwards. October 28th, Bernard Tony Jr. October 29th, Levon Coleman. November 1st, Briante Johnson Davis. November 23rd, Demarcus Brody. 2024. January 24th, Clifford Brooks. February 3rd, Rashad Graham. February 3rd, Isaac Goodlow III. March 16th, Terrell Miller. March 21st, Kadarius Smith. April 17th, Samuel Sterling. April 18th, Frank Tyson. April 20th, Jabril Cheevers, Lawrence McClendon, Philman Moore, Talik Roberts. May 14th, Dennis Bowden. May 23rd, Kylan Lewis. July 6th, Sonia Massey. Those are the names and dates of unarmed black people that were murdered by police officers here in the United States of America in 2023 and 2024. And we're only halfway through 2024. I want you to think of those names of those unarmed black people that were murdered by police officers here in the United States as you listen to Donald Trump deliver this message. We're going to give immunity to police so they can do their job. I'm giving federal immunity to police officers so they can do their job. Currently, the names that I have listed who were murdered by police officers, their murderers, those police officers, some of them are under investigation by the federal government for violation of those victims' civil rights. The message that Donald Trump is delivering, he is saying that if he is elected president, the federal government will give freedom to police officers to murder unarmed black people and not be held accountable. A lot of times when a police officer murders an unarmed black person, the city, the state, the county, does not step in to press charges against said police officer. 
Most times, the federal government will step in and investigate and file charges against these police officers for violation of the victim's civil rights. That's what happened in the case of Ahmaud Arbery and George Floyd. George Floyd's case was so blatant that the state did file charges against his murderer. But that does not happen across the board. So in essence, what Donald Trump is telling you, Donald Trump is saying to you that the state, the county, the city, they're not going to file um, charges against these murderers. And I'm going to see to it that the federal government does not file charges against these murderers. Police officers will be free to rain violence down onto black people within their own communities. That's what Donald Trump is saying to you every time he stands up at his Klan rallies and say that he's going to indemnify the police. He's going to give them full immunity. So black people, when you're running around talking about that you're not going to vote, you're not going to participate in the political process, I want you to remember those names that you are turning your backs on and the names that you're turning your backs on in the future. Happy Sunday.